Hello, this is Dexter and welcome to another video. Today, we are going to do a half day sightseeing tour in Newcastle, UK. Before we start the trip, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. When I was in Newcastle, I stayed in the Crown Plaza Hotel Stevenson Quarter and this is where our sightseeing tour starts. What I love the most about this hotel is that it's centrally located. It is at the back of the Newcastle Central Station at a walking distance from a lot of restaurants. I stayed in this hotel for two weeks. It is also very close to the police station. Just a five minute walk from the Crown Plaza Hotel you will find our first stop, the Newcastle Castle. The Newcastle Castle is a castle that gave the city its name. Newcastle's most historic buildings, the Castle Keep, and its 13th century gatehouse, the Black Gate, were once part of a much larger fortress. The two have been reunited as Newcastle Castle. So this is the Newcastle Castle Black Gate. Built between 1247 and 1250 during the reign of King Henry III, the Black Gate was the last addition to the medieval castle defenses. By the entrance, you will see this information board where you will learn about the Black Gate's history. Today, the Black Gate is used for a quite different purpose, which is to welcome visitors in. The gatehouse, consisting of an arched passage with what are thought of to be guard chambers on either side, was part of the Barbican, a walled defensive entrance for the castle's north gate. Tickets are available to visit the Newcastle Castle. These can be purchased on the day of your visit from the Black Gate. The Black Gate houses an admissions area, gift shop, and exhibition space. The Castle Keep and Black Gate reopened in March 2015 as Newcastle Castle. The name reflects the fact that a joint ticket now provides entry to both. And beside the Newcastle Castle back gate, you will see the Castle Keep. In 1400, Newcastle became a county in its own right, and the Castle Garth remained part of the county of Northumberland. The keep became a prison for the county. The castle keep is a popular location among many ghost hunting groups. While they do not host any events of this nature, several teams carry out their own paranormal investigations. Not far from the new castle castle, you will see the St. Nicholas Cathedral. The Cathedral Church of St. Nicholas is one of the most beautiful and historic buildings in Newcastle. The spire has dominated Newcastle skyline and served as a prominent landmark and navigation point for ships in the River Tyne for over 500 years.
you will find in St. Nicholas Square the statue of Queen Victoria. It was erected in 1903, two years after her death. Our next destination is the Theatre Royale, Newcastle. It is a historic theatre, a Grade 1 listed building situated on Gray Street in Newcastle upon Tyne. And on the same street, you will find Grace Monument. It was built in 1838 in the center of Newcastle and was erected to acclaim Earl Grey for the passing of the Great Reform Act of 1832. Let's head over to the Church of St. John the Baptist. St. John's Church is a 13th century church on the corner of Granger Street and Westgate Road in Newcastle. St. John's is open to visitors every day and all are welcome at any of their services. The church is set in pleasant and attractive gardens which are enjoyed by the local community and visitors to the city. This is a Newcastle Central Station. It is located in the city's Granger Town area to the west of the Castle Keep. In Simon Jenkins, Britain's 100 best railway stations, the station was one of the only 10 to be awarded 5 stars. The main line serving the station is the East Coast Main Line from London to Edinburgh via Yorkshire and Newcastle. Opposite the Newcastle Central Station is the St. Mary's Cathedral. The Cathedral Church of St. Mary is a Catholic cathedral in Newcastle. It is the mother church of the Diocese of Hexham in Newcastle and seat of the Bishop of Hexham in Newcastle. The cathedral is situated on Clayton Street and was built between 1842 and 1844. This is the monument dedicated to Cardinal Basil Hume in the monument garden outside of the cathedral. Now, let's do a quick stroll at the Northumberland Street. It is a major shopping street in the city of Newcastle. In terms of rental per square foot, Northumberland Street is the most expensive location in the UK outside of London to own a shop. In Northumberland Street, I stopped and ate at Five Guys. If you saw my first video, you will know that it is my favorite burger place. It is in Newcastle that I tried Five Guys Burger for the very first time.
What I like the most is of course the great burger and the option to choose exactly what you want to get on the burger. And this is where our half-day sightseeing tour in Newcastle ends. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Till next time, bye!